I'm Ollie Evans. I run a vintage clothing company and website called Too Hot Limited. We specialise in dealing in vintage Stone Island and I also have my own collection of vintage Stone Island pieces. I started buying and selling vintage Stone Island pieces about four years ago. I bought a secondhand vintage Stone Island piece off eBay and I realised quite quickly that there was a good market and a subculture of people buying and selling vintage Stone Island pieces. There was a desire for the older ones and the archive pieces and it just made me want to dive in and delve into that subculture and research more about the brand and discover its history. It's got such depth of design and uh, innovation and uh, technology enraptured in it. You can see through seasons how one fabric or one idea will change and develop until it becomes its perfect point. Uh, the first subculture that attached itself to Stone Island was an Italian subculture called Pananaro, which means sort of sandwich bar. They were like a Milanese youth culture who used to hang around the sandwich bars in Milan, ride scooters and dress wearing the latest Italian sportswear brands such as Stone Island, Best Company, Moncler. In the UK in the early 90s, there was a big explosion of rave and acid house. And these raves and uh, hardcore and jungle were melting pots of all different levels and societies of people coming together to rave under one roof. So you'd get your hardcore football fans there, you'd get your rude boys there, you'd get drug dealers there, you'd get just kids there. People would come together and see and take on ideas from other cultures and that's where you saw Stone Island starting to get adopted. I'm primarily interested in Massimo Asti's work for the brand. He founded Stone Island in 1982. I think even today his work um, still stands the test of time. Unfortunately he passed away in 2005 so anything that you get now of his for Stone Island is at least 20 years old and they're becoming scarcer and harder to find and uh, that's the criteria of uh, things ending up here on this rail. My Stone Island collection spans from 1983 until present day. I'm still searching for that elusive 1982 piece. This is my favourite jacket from my collection, a 1983 Telestella jacket. It's made from Telestella fabric, which was the fabric that founded Stone Island, uh, based on a military tarpaulin, which is garment dyed, so the inside is yellow, the outside is white. Another firm favourite of mine, uh, the Autumn Winter 1995 Formula Steel Shimmer Jacket. This is a heat reactive jacket from uh, Spring Summer 2000, designed by Paul Harvey, it so changes colour when it gets warm. The brown gives way to reveal a full graphic pattern. This is a Autumn Winter 1993 glazed silk light jacket, the toffee wrapper jacket. This is perhaps one of the most sought after and iconic Stone Island jackets. Ultimately, the collection is born out of a passion for a brand and the history and the culture and the subcultures that go with it. From that, a great business has blossomed out of it. So as long as it continues to give me great pleasure and I continue to learn and enjoy it, I'm going to keep doing it and embracing it. Um, it's been fantastic so far and hopefully it will continue along that same route. <laughs>